Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. We're here at the Wallace Monument in Stirling. This place is quite high, so I think it's about 220 feet or so. I think it's one of the highest places in Stirling. Don't know if the camera can get this, get the height justice, but Bloody high up. Knackered by the time I got to the top. Anyway, I'm actually here early, so I came up early, finished a night shift. I wanted to get some more drone footage out of ours because they'll not let you do it. Uh, and if you don't, didn't already know, I've got a TikTok channel and it's bamboozled underscore exploring and there's some things on that that you won't see on my youtube channel if you want to have a wee look over there but we'll do a wee walk around here and then i'll need to sit sit about for about an hour and 15 minutes until somebody comes opens up You know, if you stick to the end, we'll get some drone footage up as well. Look at that view though. There's Stirling Castle over there. Just released a video of that about a week ago or so. Day a wee walk around, and then it'll be the long wait until somebody comes in. And then we'll have a wee look inside. It's where the the William Wallace sword the sailed, but I think a lot of people believe that it's not the real Wallace sword. But we'll get more into that once once we're inside. But look at that building, is that not amazing? This was built 200 years ago. Can we zoom in to the main man? Already actually, I've actually been here before, but the place was just too busy and couldn't get moving. I missed some parts, so I phoned them back up. They were kind enough to let me come back in for free and refilm everything. So I know, and if you've ever been here before, you'll know that it's a good bloody walk to get up here. Plus, I think, I don't know how many stairs there is, I can't even mind. But you can get right up on the top there. But you'll see, you'll see eventually. So I'll just, I'll wait an hour, wait till it open up, and then we'll have a look inside. Right guys, that's me inside. It's not opened up yet, so the manager let me come in, sit in there for a wee while. The keeper's lodge. We'll take a wee, wee look in here. This is where he can sit, chill out, get some food in that before he got all these bloody stairs. I'm not really looking forward to that. But I've got this entire place to myself. Doors aren't even opened yet. So I'll probably need to stop at every level just because of how many stairs there are. A month for itself. That's the main doors there. Right, here we go. Yeah. 
Alright, I'm going to feel it in my legs. Telling you, stairs are the bane of my bloody existence. See at Lennox Castle and Dalcuring Castle. Right, there we go. First level, the whole of arms. Right. Right, I'll take a wee break now. We'll wait till that comes on. And listen to that video. <sighs> Jesus. There's a sword there, we'll get to that in a minute. William Wallace, Scotland's national hero. In September 1297, William Wallace defeated the English army at the Battle of Stirling Bridge. It was a victory against all odds. If you want to take a moment, you can pause the video right now. Can we do that? Get a 
the size of that sword. So there's got to be the full description will be down below about the wall of sword. But what people are saying is this here, the handle and that there. That was, I think it was done in the 1500s. And the, the metal there is three, three metal pieces welded, hammer welded together. So I think like some of it's 15th century and one's 16th century, but what they say is the tip. The metal's 13th century, but so that could be the original piece. Not sure, but. This place is bigger than what it actually looks like. Now if you want to read some of this, I'll just go down slowly and you can pause it at certain parts if you want to read it. to the next one. I don't see the point of recording these steps up so we'll just cut it off and I'll make it to the next level. Right so here we are the hall of heroes. Tell you this place is bloody massive on the inside. So who we got here first? Got Sir Walter Scott. Here we got William Murdoch, inventor and engineer. James Watt, inventor and engineer. Who's this guy? John Knox. Is he a religious reformer? Alan Ramsey Port, Dr. David Livingston, explorer and missionary, Robert Tannehill, poet and songwriter. Get William Gladstone, he's a politician, Adam Smith. Thomas Chambers. Sir David Brewster, scientist. George McKinnon. Do you think he's got anything to do with the Buchanan Castle that are? Let's see. 
Don't be carrying castle. Don't know if that's got anything to do with this guy. Maybe. Two more. Orphan geologist. There's King Robert the Bruce. There's a replica of his sword. Now that, that looks like a real warrior sword that you would think would be on the battlefield. The William Wallace one doesn't look, looks too big. It looks too skinny. That looks like a real one. Who's this? Maggie Keswick Jenks, co founder of Maggie Centers. Mary Slessor, missionary. Thomas Carlyle, author. Robbie Burns, famous poet. The lights that they've got on them, they're kind of blurring out a little bit. But anyways, up to the next level. See, like, the holes there, there's nothing there, so you can feel the wind coming right up there. Right, so this is in the Royal Chamber. It's where the weapons are at. One more level and we're up on the roof. Let's see here. If this is actually something you can do here with that screen there, but I'll just leave that now. Imagine that back in the day, fighting in an actual war with swords, spears, getting shot with one of them. Bloody hell. Hit right in the head with an axe or something like that. It's crazy. Nah, it's an actual. It's an actual sword. In fact, that's plastic. Oh no. Well, that's actually real. So you can actually design your own shield here. I'm not going to do that now, but if somebody decides to come here, a wee bit more interest in doing stuff like that. I'm sure something over there you can do as well, but we're not going to do that today. We've got to the, the roof now. Right. up in the roof. I'm going to take my hat off in case it blows off. Jeez.
glad I took my hat off there, I would have been flown right over. Jeez. Do you know, I actually feel scared. Didn't realise how much I was scared of heights until I started doing stuff like this. Right guys, if you can hear me through this, thank you for watching, I'm going to get a drone, so a couple of drone shots now, thank you.